you can see my succulents are in bloom. This is beautiful. I think it's a prasilla, but I don't know the actual scientific name of it. But it gets these beautiful yellow flowers on it, and the bees just love it. These are on here all day, every day. And butterflies. This does kind of spread like crazy, so I always have to cut back on it. But right now, I'm loving it. It's also one of those ones you can just break off a piece and stick it in the ground. It will root and grow for you. So these are definitely one of my favorites. This is literally like velvet. It is just beautiful. As you can see, this one is also just full of buds, just waiting. These are beautiful. These were tiny little plants and I actually pinched them back. And they just started spreading like crazy. So they're really full now. And like I said, they're just covered in buds. And these flowers, I mean, literally, they're like velvet. They're beautiful. This is my freesia. As you can see, it has all of these on there. These are going to be beautiful, beautiful blooms. And it is packed with them. I can't wait for it to bloom. I mean, such a variety of color. This has yellow, reds, pinks, and a purplish color. And when I say they smell fantastic, the smell of this literally goes all through my house. It is amazing. I love it. And of course, my most favorite clearance plant. <laughs> is that Cape Honeysuckle. I mean, it's pretty much a monster right now, which is what I wanted it to do. I want it to actually go up and over and cover this fence. The blooms on it are beautiful. And I mean, it gets these orange flowers all over it. It's gorgeous. And it's put on so much growth. I'm not going to trim it or cut it back or anything right now. I'm just going to let it do its thing. See how big it gets and then I'll start trimming it back some. One of my other joys right now is this petunia that I got from the 99 cent only store last year. You know, I let it just stay in the garden. It looked like it was dying off, which it pretty much did except for a few little branches. and. The warm weather came in and it just started spreading. Look at that bloom. And these aren't tiny blooms. These are nice size. They're beautiful. There's another one hiding over here underneath this salvia. It hasn't started to bloom yet, but it's hanging in there. My geraniums are completely covered with buds and they are actually starting to bloom now. They are just beautiful. This color here, this red, I mean, it's so hard for me to film it because it literally looks like it's glowing. So it doesn't even show up very well on camera. But um, these are all beautiful. This is the only one that doesn't have any blooms on them. It's got a couple of buds, but no blooms. And it's so funny because the geranium is actually um, not one of my favorite plants. I think these are beautiful, but I'm one of those people that I can't stand the smell of them. But their flowers are gorgeous. As you can see, it's still early in the morning, so they still got water on them. I love that I can see these from my kitchen door. As soon as I look outside, if I'm at the sink washing dishes or anything, I mean, this is the view that I see, which is why I wanted bright colors right here. Like I said, they're gorgeous. Even from inside, they just look like they're out here glowing in the garden. 
is also my first year planting crocus. So to see these little guys coming up, yeah. I didn't even know this one had a flower on it until I saw it yesterday. I knew they were coming up, but this one had popped up and the next thing I knew it had a flower on it. So this is my first year planting them, so I don't even know how quickly they bloom until <laughs> now. This one has this little flower on it. The ones I planted on the other side, they haven't come up yet. But I uh, planted them all on the same day. So I don't know if maybe the conditions over here are better suited for them, but I'm gonna wait and see because I planted a ton of them on the other side. Look at that, this is just beautiful. So this is definitely my pride and joy right now. This is my first time ever planting tulips. And to see these William and Kate's come up is, I, I mean, I can't even explain how I feel every day coming out here to see if more of them are poking through the ground or, you know, how big these have gotten. These, like, are really, really, I mean, they truly bring me joy right now. Look at that. First this one popped up, then this one, and now I have another one coming up. I think there are six of them in here, so it might be eight, I can't remember. We'll see. I think I tried to clean out the 99 cent only store, but when you have such beautiful plants, I mean, <laughs> you just can't help it. I love the reds. They are just so vibrant and so amazing. Next to this peachy orange over here and the green of that society garlic. It's just beautiful. So pretty. If you can have beautiful flowers like this in your yard, and it only cost you 99 cents. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Everybody can have a beautiful garden. These are starting to wilt on me a little bit, but look at that. They were beautiful. I think the 99 cent only store is probably going to be one of my favorite place to buy annuals. I mean, these are doing just great. They're beautiful. And you can't beat 99 cents. Look at that deep color. It's pretty yellow. Look how pretty that is. It's so bright and beautiful. These are also a 99 cent only store buy. And do you see what I see? More bulbs are blooming. So yeah, I got more tulips in here. So I'm gonna see how many of them uh, gonna come up. You guys remember all the little blue grass that I got from the 99 cent only store? Look how great it's doing. They're doing pretty good. And once again, like I said, there's no water source over here either. No drip line, no sprinklers. Like I said they're pretty tough and they don't need any type of soil condition. They can grow in anything. And yeah, they are. So this freesia right here is definitely the star of the show. I mean, if you could smell what I can smell, it's not only filling the backyard, it actually goes all the way to the front of the house. It smells amazing. And look at those blooms. Look how pretty that is. And this is just the first wave. This one will actually get like a fuchsia and a purple, um, a bright yellow. It has multiple colors on here. And I mean, they are beautiful and they are just yeah. as vibrant. And as you can see, it still has all these little buds on here. There are a ton of buds on here. 
but as you can see like I said this is magnificent they are so pretty and this smell man if I could just describe it to you guys it is just so amazing if you don't have freesia in your garden you should definitely plant it when I first planted this one it was only coming up once a year now it comes up twice a year and each time it does it on its own like I said there's no water source over here it pretty much is just drought tolerant and it is gorgeous it's beautiful look at the sedum look at that look how pretty that is just gorgeous I'm gonna finish up with what I like to call my soldier of the garden and that is my lantana this is one amazing plant it constantly blooms it has no water source over here. It is on a drip system. There's no sprinklers. It just constantly grows. I chopped it all the way down and it just comes right back. And like I said, it constantly blooms. Bees love it. Butterflies love it. And it just blooms all year long for me. All year long. So thanks for joining me guys. If you're looking for a pollinator, this is definitely a great choice. Have a blessed one, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.